four major types of family. Patrifocal family. A patrifocal family consists of a father and his children and is found in societies where men take multiple wives, polygamy or polygyny, and or remain involved with each for a relatively short time. This type of family is rare from a worldwide perspective but occurs in Islamic states with considerable frequency. In some emirates, the laws encourage this structure by allowing a maximum of four wives per man at any given time, an automatic deflection of custody rights to the father in the case of a divorce. In these societies, a man will often take a wife and may conceive a child with her, but after a relatively short time, put her out of his harem so he can take another woman without exceeding the quota of four. The man then keeps his child and thus a patriarchal focal structure emerges. Even without the expulsion of the mother, the structure may be patriarchal because the children often, as infants, are removed from the harem. Matrifocal family. A matrifocal family consists of a mother and her children, which is generally these children are her biological offspring. Although adoption of children is a practice in nearly every society, this kind of family is common where women have the resources to rear their children by themselves, or where men are more mobile than women. The third type would be consanguineal family. A consanguineal family consists of a mother and her children and other people, usually the family of the mother. This kind of family is common where mothers do not have the resources to rear their children on their own, and especially where property is inherited. When important properties is owned or when important property is owned rather by men, consanguineal families commonly consist of a husband and wife, their children, and other members of the husband's family. And the last time would be conjugal family. A conjugal family consists of one or more mothers and their children, and or one or more spouses, usually husbands. This kind of family is common where there is a division of labor requiring the participation of both men and women, and where families are relatively mobile. A notable subset of this family type is the nuclear family, in which one woman has one husband and they raise their children together. To sum it up, it is important to learn the different types of families for us to educate our children regarding the diverse family that we have within our society. It is a good opportunity to celebrate family diversity and engage children in conversation about who is in their family, who lives in their house, and more importantly, who takes care of them. Hope to learn something today. Goodbye!